you were riding your scooter in the terminal. What just happened? <laughs> I was so late, I was in a rush. Hey, oh guys, we just made it to the airport. I cannot explain how much of a hassle this was. My flight goes initially like eight minutes. I had to go through security. I had to sprint through security. I didn't, I couldn't find a car rental. I missed my flight. I missed everything. So we're now here at this airport, Sydney airport. We were going out to Brisbane. My flight is in like four minutes. We have to like run. Oh. Sydney, Sydney. Sydney. Our gate is 41. I have to go to the bathroom. Is it weird to vlog while I pee? I don't know. Hey, oh guys, my flight is in two minutes, guys. Can we make it? Yes or no? Yes or no? Can we make it? No? Yes? Oh, we get it. You vape. It smells so good, huh? It smells amazing. Yo, Sydney Airport has phone chargers. That's so lit, huh? Stop. You can work, get some work done, eat healthy, get some more work done, make business calls, charge your thing. That's lit. I love this airport here. It's so lit. Everyone is still waiting. No one is boarding. Hi. Hi. Is this one to Brisbane? I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Oh, you got Brisbane? I'm going to Brisbane. I'm sick, me too. <laughs> Bro, we in the hood, man. Oh yeah? It's gonna be sick, yeah, it's gonna be lit. I, I was so late, I was in a rush. That's okay. We fine? Yep, just take a seat, we haven't started boarding just yet. Ah, thank you yep. so much. You're welcome. I thought I'd missed my flight. No, not yet. Oh, thanks. But just hold on. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, bye. That's a lot of people going to Brisbane today. A lot of people. Load. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hello. Oh, good. Number Just 17, one? yeah. Good what? on you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Oh, that's a big airplane. <laughs> Such a big airplane. Are you business class? Are you business class? Yes. Oh, sick. Okay. I think I sit here. Yeah. What do you do? Yeah, I sit here. Yeah. Yeah, all set. I just have to pull this up here. It's a big bag. Yeah, just have to, yeah, 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 I'll chill. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. All right, guys, we finally boarded the airplane. I almost thought we would miss our flight. We will fly now from Sydney to Brisbane. We have two sea partners. We have number one, what's your name? Jared. Jared, so this Jared is gonna be my sea partner. What's your name? Cameron. Cameron, he's my sea partner. He's a businessman, right? Sort of. Yeah, you're a business suit, right? Business, like big business, right? <laughs> awesome. So we'd appreciate your full attention. The safety instruction card in the seat pocket shows the brace position and contains other vital information on what you should do in the unlikely event of an emergency. 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 Yes. We arrive. Thank you. Bye. See you next time. Yes. We landed in Brisbane, guys. We landed in Brisbane. We have to get our luggage now. As fast as possible. Hey, yo, guys. We just landed here in Brisbane, Australia. Um, we are at the moment here in the man's bathroom. We have to pick up our luggage now. I need my suitcase. I need my drone bag. And I need my scooter. Hopefully, they did not lose my scooter. That's always my biggest fear when I travel, that they will lose my scooter. Because my scooter is just, it's just so important. Because I just love scootering. And, um... Yeah, I know. Um, I'm gonna wash my hands now. Clean hands. Uh. My suitcase, yeah. Why is my drone bag wet? All right, now the most important part, my scooter. Ah, not this, my scooter. So, we just landed in Brisbane, Australia now. Um, I got all my suitcase. I got my, my suitcase, my drone bag. My drone bag is wet, but I don't know why. And I got my scooter. This time, this time, no hassle. Usually, I always have to like find my scooter, search my scooter. This time, we got a first try, so that's good. All right, so now we have to get our car. Good evening, Andrews Airport Parking. You're speaking with Tasman. How can I help you? Hello, good evening. My name is Claudius, and I just arrived at Brisbane Airport, and I would please like to pick up my car. Yeah, of course. Are you just at Domestic Airport? Yes, Domestic Airport. I, I flew from Sydney to Brisbane, and I'm right now um, at the Virgin Australia gate. Yep, yeah, so do you know where to wait for our bus? B1, B2? It's just called Virgin Australia Arrival. Yep, yeah, so you need to go to B1, B2. So you need to go up the, um, do you see like a big bridge? Okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, so you need to go up that bridge. There's an escalator that will take you up onto that bridge. Um, next to the coffee cup. Okay, and then? Yeah, and then once you're on the bridge, take the last escalator on your right hand side, and then that will take you down. Once you're down, just turn right and wait at B1, B2. Just B1, B2, okay. Yep, alright, and you're just looking out for a blue Andrews Airport parking bus. It's got a big face on it. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. No worries, bye. Thank you, bye, see you soon. So we have to go to the bridge now, and then up, and then down, and then pick up the car. Okay, go. Welcome to Brisbane. Let's do this. 
And as the rain came down like missiles from the sky set on a collision course from the heavens to the ground, he's just standing in the middle. Yeah, okay, right. it took me a long time to find this here. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you from Ace Car Rentals? Uh, I'm from Andrews, but uh, what's your name, sir? Claudius. Claudius, I think that's right. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Neon fan. Uh, we, you we got the merch, you got the merch. I got the what? Yeah, you got the merch. <laughs> I have, okay. Yeah. Right. Merch, merch you can buy them. Yeah. Right. Your name We're, is Les. Les. That's right, that's ah, right. Nice to meet you, Les. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much nice for picking me up. Yeah. You. Are you the driver? I am. Ah, I am. Cool. Awesome. Where, where are you from? Oh, I was like born in Germany, yeah. but I lived now in the UK for like two years and yeah. travel a lot, like California, okay. Australia, mate, kangaroos and stuff. Like. Right. Yeah, so. But so you're born, born in Poland? No, no, Germany. Oh, sorry, Germany. Germany. Uh, yeah, uh, Deutschland. Uh, yeah, and. Madrescher. And now you live in, in England? Yeah, British, yeah. yeah, British. Wow, there you go. Let's go. So you know where to go? I do, yeah. Ah, so we're picking up my car now. Yes. Ah, cool. Is it like far from here? No, it's only about seven minutes. Ah, cool. So mama, I'm a be one day. Thank you. Alrighty, that's okay. Thank you. Liz. No, no worries. Awesome no to worries. meet you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. So this is gonna be the whip number two. This is whip number one. And this is gonna be the whip for Brisbane. We were gonna have this car for about seven days because that's how long we were gonna be in Brisbane for. Seven days, one week. And it's not long because we wanna do so much. We're gonna go to so many places every single day. We're gonna wake up early, go to bed late. Yeah. I'm like starving. Let's get some food. Subway is closed. Oh, when everything is closed, this place is open. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Chicken wrap, chicken salad, fry, water. It's good. All right, guys, we just had food. We had a long day. I want to be straight up honest and tell you what I think, what I feel. So, it is currently 2 a.m. in the morning, guys. It is 2 a.m. My calendar is totally wrong. We had a long day. We had a long flight. Today, we did not ride scooter at all yet. So, here's the deal. I got this parking ticket, okay? Parking is super expensive. So, like, for, like, one hour, it's, like, $50 for two hours. It's, like, $80. So the parking is going to be really expensive. But anyway, because we're savages, we just parked here in this, like, parking villa at the airport. And I want to, because it's, like, 2 a.m. in the morning, so the airport will be empty. I will get my, um, scooter, my helmet, probably not my knee pads, because it's going to be too, too suspicious, but my helmet, and I will going to bring my GoPro. I won't bring my big camera because it's too big and fat. I will just bring my GoPro. My GoPro 6, I have the GoPro 6. It's, I'm testing it right now. So, I will bring my GoPro and then we go into the airport, into the empty airport. There's going to be probably a few security there. It's going to be very interesting. And then we just go there and try to ride scooters and find some spots in the airport. And the airport has many spots. I haven't been to Brisbane Airport, so it's going to be interesting. So, we're going to get readied up. I'm kind of really tired and jet lagged and all that stuff, but like come on guys, we just have to send it, right? We just have to get some stuff done and get some rides and explore, go into the unknown. And I'm a little bit like, not scared, just like nervous, but like, I wanna push myself. I wanna, I wanna ride at the skate park. I wanna ride different places, take my scooters, travel the world and just try different things. So we go and I'll take my scooter and then we will gonna see you in GoPro mode in a minute. I'm gonna go back up, buckle up and then I'm gonna see you there. All right, guys, so we are now here in GoPro 6 mode. We're just gonna drink some water real quick because I'm really thirsty. We have to be really quiet because it's 2 a.m. in the morning or like almost like 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm not going to wear knee pads, although I should, but it's just more suspicious. Okay, car is closed. All right, guys, so we have to see now where we are going because I haven't been here before and it's very confusing. Honestly, I love GoPro so much. I should use it way more and I know you guys like it too. We have to take the lift, guys. Oh my God, car rentals. I still have my airport tag. There we go. Okay, where do we go? We have to go into the airport hall somehow. We are here at the terminal enter and there's a warning oh my god not this again this one is huge all right guys so we are now here at the airport lounge at the domestic airport unfortunately my my chest mount broke as you can see it just broke off it snapped off i don't know why that kind of sucks really bad but i still have my helmet mount we have to be really quiet because it's 2 a.m in the night and there are some securities and cameras so i won't talk too much in this session and i won't talk too loud all right, first trick, whip. Can we make it through here? Oh yes, we did. Oh my God. Let's do big, big hang five. I'm still going. Let's go upstairs. What's this here? Oh, okay guys, let's go upstairs. Guys, there's cameras everywhere. Cameras, literally every single corner. So we have to really hurry up now because I don't want to like get arrested or get go to jail or go fine or just kicked out or you know what I mean so you have to really hurry up oh my God. Oh. 
was way too loud. That was way too loud. That was way too loud. Oh my god. Okay. All right, guys. So I think I found something. I found one of the most insane elevators ever. So many of you guys might remember or not remember. I made a video a long time ago. So much happened. And we went down some like escalators. Like full speed, top speed. And now I found way bigger escalators. I think if you look at these ones, I think they're about at least twice as long. Twice as long. It's also steeper, it goes deeper down, and down there it's like, it's very sketchy. And they do work, it says no children, no trolleys, blah, 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 all these rules, but it doesn't say no scooters. So it's kind of illegal, but it's not really illegal. But before we go down, like if we go down, we go full speed, that's clear. But before we go down, I wanna quickly check down if it's safe even to go fast, because if, honestly, I'm scared. That's, that's, that's long, that's long. I've totally forgot how long. That's, that's long, guys, guys, that's, we were gonna be so fast. It's gonna be actually dangerous. It's gonna be, it's gonna be actually, don't do this at home. So here, and then I hear the after I go down full speed, I have here these insane, like, the kind of metal knobs. So then I will go full speed down here, 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 here. No one is basically here, everything is empty. So it should be safe, okay. I'm nervous, I'm, I'm scared, I'm terrified, I'm, I'm shaking, adrenaline, stock market exchange. Okay guys, click the like button right now for savageness. Cl click it, click it, it turns blue. And did you click it? No, for real. Click the like button and um, I'll do this for you guys. Full speed, top speed, down all the way. And that is long. It's long, it's fast, it's scary. It's actually, I can, I think it's way too late for that. It's way too late. I just wanna do it. Let's go. Three, two, one. Dude, that was so loud. Guys, that was so loud. Okay, I must admit, I had my foot down a tiny bit, okay? I did not go full speed. That was like, it was very fast, but it was not full speed. But we were just testing out, okay? And I feel like it's safe now. It's not safe, it's dangerous. But because I feel like more confident now, because I did it once, we will go now again. But this time, we not only go full speed, but also I will run up. So I will run up, I will push, and I will jump in into it guys i jump into it and hopefully no one hurt us and let's do it again guys let's again together is everything fine jump into it guys jump into it jesus christ oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god no way i can't believe i did that that was so loud dude that was so so loud dude i'm shaking right now i'm i'm like i'm my heart can you can you feel my heart can you feel my heart my heart is beating guys that was that was actually that was so fast okay i will adjust my gopro angle and so you can see more my scooter and we try to go faster this time okay that was that was i did not put my foot down i jumped into it i bent my knees i think no one saw me and we will do it again but we try to go faster and i adjust my gopro angle so you get to see the scooter more and yeah that's it that's the plan guys that's the plan we got this guys okay so although my chest mount is broken as you can see it is broken here you see it's broken it's going off here actually oh my god did i fix it right now oh my god okay as you can see it's just it's broken but i will put it on my chest mount so you get to it's just cooler for you because like helmet is kind of hot so i put you like right here on my chest all right guys time for party oh my god oh, oh my god oh, oh my god Dude, oh my god, I couldn't even, I can't even run this fast. I almost fell over my own feet. Oh my god, it's so loud, guys. I can't believe we did this. Quick update, it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Actually, it's 12 minutes past 3 a.m. in the morning. And even if they see me in the camera or if they hear me, I mean, I would totally get if they are too lazy to, like, come over because, like, you know what I'm saying? But I was lit. Actually, there's one more thing I saw earlier when I checked out. I get goose humps. Can, can you see this, guys? I get goose humps. And, and I want to show you one more thing before we leave because it's very late. I have to sleep. Tomorrow, I have a meet and greet. Oh, that's yesterday. Or, like, yeah, that's tomorrow. I have a meet and greet at Scooter Hut. So, I have to wake up early and it's 3 a.m. in the morning. And I'm not even checked in, in my home yet. So, I will try to find the spot I, I had in mind and then I will going to leave soon. But let's try to find this. Let's find this. Oh, hi. Do you know where the toilets are? Uh, there's toilets in the terminal. Ah. Or there's toilets 
about 50 meters that way. Ah, uh, okay, a terminal is just down there, right? Yeah. Okay. Make sure that you don't ride that in the terminal, will you? Yeah, I don't ride this one. No. Yeah. Just walk, because it would be dangerous, right? Yes. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Okay, see you later. Yeah. Well, like, so as I told you, there was a security the whole time just on the other side of the thing. So he just told me not to ride my scooter in the terminal. Technically, where I rode before is not the terminal. This here is the terminal. Everything is empty. Everything is empty. Let's see how heavy my scooter is. 2.9 kilograms. That's insane light, guys. My scooter is very light. For all those who wonder, proof, it's 2.9. They have even chargers at the airport. You guys sleeping, right? You guys chilling? You guys sleeping? Oh, sick. Sleeping, guys. I can ride the scooter? Not in here. It's outside. Okay. All right, guys. So we are still here at this airport. It is currently... It's currently 3 a.m. in the morning or tw 24 minutes past 3 a.m. in the morning. We are in the men's bathroom. Please. Oh, hello. Hello. You were riding your scooter in the terminal. In the terminal? Yes. You don't realize that we got security cameras here? Ah, okay. And I told you not to do it. And you said, right, it would be dangerous. I was, I was, I was like Yet going you slow. you continued right? to... Um, no, no. I said to you, yeah, yeah. don't ride that in the terminal. Okay. And you said to me, yeah. right, it would be dangerous. Yeah. Okay, so tell me now, what are you doing here? at this terminal right now. Like right now I was getting some drink and then yep. I was in the toilet and now because I parked my car in the valet so now I have to go back to the valet and yeah. Um, Allow me to escort you out. Okay. Yeah, there? sure. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Is there still like, is there still passengers here? Sorry? Is there still passengers here like arriving? Like I asked you to. I, I apologize, I was just... Unfortunately, you know best. So, yeah. there you go, buddy. So, just up, up, up there. there. Okay, thank you. The security guy was following me all the time. Alright guys, so, unfortunately, we got kicked out of the airport. The security guard slash cop, he told me to leave. I was going down the escalator, full speed, top speed, I think two, three, four times. And then I, did, I wanted to, I told you, I wanted to show you something crazy, right? So then we went from the terminal to the other side of the airport to the arrival, right? And then on the way there, I met a security guy. And he didn't talk to me, so I was, n he was not talking to me. But then I just said hi. But then he said, don't ride your scooter in the terminal in the airport. And then I was saying, okay, yeah, because that would be dangerous, right? I was just agreeing with him, yeah, okay? I was sympathizing. Because I understand, you know what I mean? I stop. And then I was going down the escalators into the terminals. Now when I tell you this, I get goose humps. I, like, you might see this, I get goose humps. So I was going down the escalators. I was just riding, like, slowly. I mean, you saw it. Like, I filmed it. I was riding slowly. Just going down, getting some water, going forth and back. And then I was going into the toilet, right? I was in the toilet's bathroom. And then I was washing my hands, and then I was talking to you. And then the security guy, while I was filming, he came. I'm getting goose humps. Can you see this? Can you? You can see this, right? You can. My goose humps. Look, guys, I'm 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 shaking right now. While I was talking to you guys, he was coming in, and he was like, "Yo, dude, I've seen you on camera." So this guy must. So so probably like because I said yeah, it's dangerous. He probably maybe didn't believe me, or he wanted to. He probably went to a special monitoring place where he could access all these cameras. And then he he detected me, so he stalked me into the bathroom. Like how is he gonna know that I was in this bathroom? Because he was all the way upstairs. He was. So he must have gone down all the way down escalators over the streets and then in the airport find me through cameras and then go in there while I was filming and oh I was and then he found me and then he said like yo I saw you on the scooter hi another security oh my god no freaking way these guys are creepy dude 
YMCA or Illuminati or whatever. Guys, they're walking around everywhere. Guys, and, okay, so then he went into the bathroom, right? And he told me, like, yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna escort you and I'm gonna bring you out of here because, like, it's dangerous and stuff. And he wasn't, like, mad. He didn't, like, say, I'm gonna arrest you or bring you to jail or, like, something. He just said, like, he said firmly but kindly, respectfully, he said, yo, I'm gonna escort you, get out of here. And then I was like, okay, let's do it. And then he was getting me out there. And then, now, when I tell you this, I get real goosebumps. I was, like, I was going up the stairs, I was just riding slowly. It was on the terminal, so he didn't tell me, I could not, I couldn't ride in the terminal. It was not allowed. But up there, like, it was allowed, so he didn't tell me I couldn't ride there. So I was going slowly there, all the way. Like, you might see in this, that was a very long path. Wait, let me see, four minutes, okay. That was a very long path, so the whole hallway is very long. I was riding slowly to the end of the hallway, make a left turn, make a right turn, to the escalators, and this guy must have tracked me with, I don't know, monitor again, must have gone upstairs again, o the whole hallway, over, left turn, right turn, like he couldn't just see me, he had to like, he had to like somehow like, maybe on his phone, or like on his like camera or whatever, like how, I don't know how he did it, or like different like agents or whatever, and he, he followed me all the way, and, and, and then he was say like, yo, what are you doing here, and then like, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to my car right now, and then he's like, yo, what are you doing here, I was like, yo, it's the airport, like, I said like, I was looking for a friend, because I, I got lost at the airport, and, and then he was like, like, he, he was on me, like, he, he, he didn't know, but he kind of knew it was like it was suspicious and so what freaks me out so much right i was like going down this full speed three four times it was so crazy loud it was like i can't guys i can't believe i even did this it was i went so fast and it was so loud like everyone in the entire building could hear me and no one came and no one said anything and then after that it was just going over 50 meters later it was a security guy and he was just like saying nothing and then he followed me into the toilet and then back up the stairs again, escalators, whole hallway, left turn, right turn, escalators. He like stalked me. He saw like every single and every single camera where I went. He might even heard of me. I, I don't know, but it just creeps me out so much. I'm like, I have goosebumps. Like guys, and he was fast. Like he must have run or something because I was on my scooter and he was just, and he found me. Like that was creepy guys. That was so creepy, but I'm happy we are here in the car right now. It's not even funny. It's 50 minutes before 4 a.m. in the morning. That was honestly so savage guys and so fun and creepy guys that was so creepy that was so creepy so let me wrap up this vlog here guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog this was an awesome experience i we, we did some cool tricks we didn't do crazy cool tricks but we did some tricks and we went on the escalators and that was next level that was i think that was at least two or three times as fast as last time it was way longer it was louder and the security guy he was nice and he had this like not sure if you could see him in the video because i had my chest mount on not my helmet camera so like he had this like like uh what's it called like like mr Krabs, like it's like this like snorkel like weird um beard he was nice but he was creepy dude this guy freaked me out so much i was going in the toilet he opened it and the security guy is next to me and then i was like okay he escorts me i go all the hallway two minutes later i was like pressing the escalator and then he's standing behind me like how did he find me how did he go so fast this guy's like Dude, I'm getting, uh, I'm so scared right now. I'm freaking out right now, guys. Guys, dude, I'm not gonna sleep for 10 days, bro. That was, I'm so happy I filmed this, you know? Like, that's why I love vlogging. I film, I just film my life. I film my scootering, my travels. So you get to experience what I get to experience. And we get to experience life together. Life is an awesome, exciting adventure. And we both live it together. So if you wanna go together with me, experience life, travel the world, go subscribe to this YouTube channel. We do daily vlogs every single day. So subscribe and click the small ring bell also so you can be part of the notification squad so you get to be one of the first people to watch my videos and definitely make sure check out my merchandise i have t-shirts hoodies and we ship them worldwide the link is the first link in the description the t-shirts so soft so lit everyone who got them all my friends so many in the world we like recently we got so many orders from norway Aust australia canada i had people from alaska ordering my merch i can show you maybe next time like on the order list from so many like weird countries guys you guys are killing this so thank you so much for the awesome support go um like this video if you want to see more videos like this comment down below who we should meet ryan williams he lives in brisbane i'm pretty sure or at gold coast or like somewhere around here so if we should meet up with him comment down below let me know guys and guys this place freaks me out so much okay we're gonna see you tomorrow in the morning we will be in brisbane for seven days thank you for being part of my life every single day and for standing behind my back supporting me no matter what i love you so much see you tomorrow guys peace out